Jimmy Page, born on January 9, 1944, is undeniably one of the most famous guitarists of all time, of course from the household name of a band, Led Zeppelin. In 1972, when Zeppelin was really gaining traction, Page entered into a relationship with baby groupie Lori Maddox, who was 13 at the time. There does not seem to be any information from any of the band members on what went down, how it went down, or even how they felt about the situation, but it seems at least the manager of the band knew that what Jimmy was doing was wrong. The only information we can really go with is from what Lori herself has said over the years, of which the story changes nearly every time, to whatever version she feels alright with telling. I want to start with some of the facts and some background first that are for the most part undeniable unless proven otherwise. Lori Maddox was born in November 1958 and one of an unknown amount of children but interviews have implied that she had a sister. In one interview Lori stated that her father was dead while other articles simply put that her father was not in the picture, at least by the time she was 13 years old. Maddox states that she started out as a model in Star Magazine, which was an early 70s pre-groupie publication. She stated that the magazine highlighted the young girls as being groupies, when in reality they were just models. Lori states that the first person she had ever had sex with and lost her virginity to was David Bowie. Interestingly though, there does not seem to be any proof that she ever actually met him. There are pictures of her with Jimmy Page for sure, and pictures of her with Iggy Pop, but the instance with Bowie is essentially all text. And further, before delving too deep, many people have pointed out continuity errors of her having been deflowered, in her own words, by David Bowie before having met Jimmy Page, and yet stories that she's told of how and when she's met Jimmy don't seem to add up as to when she would have been with David Bowie. Even more confusing, despite there being proof of the relationship between her and Jimmy Page, the story differs between on how they actually even met. On one account, Lori states that he essentially kidnapped her, and another alluded that she was at the Whiskey A Go Go, which is told from another groupie. To actually, she met him at his place in the Hyatt with another groupie, and even further, that Jimmy contacted Lee Childers to set up a date for him to meet her. Most sources seem to agree that Lori and Jimmy were together from the time she was either 13 or 14, up until she was 16. Whenever she talks about the situation, Lori looks back on her time with Jimmy, if it even happened at all, fondly. Never having felt like the relationship was unusual, she believes that he was in love with her. According to Lori, Jimmy asked her mother for permission to date her, to which she had agreed. Allegedly, her mother used to be an agent and stated that her daughter was like Priscilla Presley. Somehow, was able to insert herself into the situation of the Drake incident when Zeppelin was robbed of $200,000. She stated that the FBI were all over them and Peter Grant told her to get out of the hotel or else Jimmy would get in trouble. When asked if she felt like Jimmy Page exploited her, she stated that she felt blessed. Maddox would receive letters telling her that he was a pedophile, but she stated that she never thought of him like that. Eventually, the relationship ended when Jimmy was found in bed with another groupie. Allegedly, the last time Lori saw Jimmy in person, as adults, he said to her, Lori, we were both children back then. And Lori stated she thought to herself, at least one of us were. <laughs> 